The woman at the center of the Main Street shooting was charged with the murder of a hospital porter. Julia Johnson filed that report. Today, Thursday, 27-year-old Ashanti Shells of 109 Eccles, East Bank de Mararo, a mother of one, appeared before Magistrate Melissa Robertson Ogle to answer a murder charge. Schultz, who gave her occupation as a broker who facilitates the sale of properties and cars, was not required to plea. According to the court on September 16th last in Georgetown, Schultz murdered Kenrick Nero. Schultz, the reputed wife of Roger Shahid Khan, who is now incarcerated in the United States, would make another appearance in the Georgetown Magistrates Court on Monday, September 24, that's in Court 6. Represented by Nigel Hughes in association with Mark Waldron, the woman's attorneys made a pitch to have ballistics reports in order to have their expert examine the report as it relates to the caliber of bullets alleged to have been used and the warhead recovered from the shooting. The prosecution said that the ballistics reports was not available. Hughes told the court that he wanted it recorded that a request was made for the report and that it was unavailable. He pointed out that the report could impact on Schultz's right to a fair trial under Chapter 144 of the Constitution. Nero was among four persons who were hit when someone opened fire in the vicinity of the new courtyard in the Customs and Excise Department on Main Street. Nero, a porter at the Georgian Public Hospital Corporation mortuary, died at that institution, while 20-year-old Delmas Redock was shot in the abdomen and is currently hospitalized. Jamal Lynch was shot in the leg and said to have been treated and discharged. Another businessman was also said to have sustained injuries, but no one could speak of his state of health. Patrons at the new courtyard said that there was an altercation between two groups of women and that one group, including Schultz, took their issue to the main street. Police sources said as far as they are aware, Schultz is not licensed to carry a weapon. Reporting for Prime News, Julia Johnson.